Hello, this is Pastor Rick, and I want to welcome you to the Sunday Forum for this Sunday, February the 6th. Mm -hmm. Glad to have, again, Pastor Steve join us on glad the Sunday Forum. Good. Glad to be here, Rick. We've been talking a lot about stewardship over the last couple of weeks, and last week we had three big stewardship events. We had the annual meeting where we passed a budget. We're going to talk about that. But then right away on Wednesday, we started with a feasibility study. And then this last Sunday on January 30th, we began our annual stewardship drive. So we want to review all those with you, Pastor Steve, so that we know we got our ducks in a row, what, what's going on and how important <laughs> these events are for the whole congregation and for you. So I thought we could start with the annual meeting. Yeah, how about that? How'd it go? Well, we had pretty good turnout, I think, in the sanctuary. And we also had online participation, which was new this year. But it, it gave us a chance, Rick. Here's the annual report. And if people mm -hmm. still haven't received one of these, they can pick one up at the office. But we got a chance to not only look back, but look forward. And so that's always kind of a recasting of some of the vision. And uh, that was fun doing that this year. Uh, alongside that, we uh, passed uh, the, uh, the operating budget for the next year, which is about 2.2. And we've restored some things to the budget that we had to take out during that COVID challenge. Right. So we're happy we're able to do that. And the, the main thing is I think this congregation uh, rallied at the end of last year too to help us. And as we moved into the annual meeting, there was a, a real sense of gratitude alongside the, uh, the, the still possibility for a strong year ahead. So the budget was passed for next year of 2.2 million. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go though back, as you say, how did we do last year? Well, uh, <laughs> You know, I think every every organization struggled because you, you have kind of people coming and going locked up at home sometimes. So we, we were grateful that, that people realized there were some opportunities, even with some, some tax uh, advantages. And uh, those people in the congregation that uh, took advantage of that were very great, gracious to us as a congregation. And the bottom line is by the end of the year, we're in good shape. There you go. End it in the black. That's always a positive. That's That's adds good. momentum. And we're grateful. We're grateful. <laughs> we are grateful. Now, the $2.2 million, that's a slight increase over last mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. uh, what can you say about that? Well, for the most part, uh, you know, as we look forward, we, we want to keep building. And we, we, we're, there's a few positions we're going to be adding. We need some musicians, uh, not only with our, mm. some of our work downtown uh, at Emmanuel Community Church, but also with what's happening out at the park. Uh, we're gonna be doing some more technology and there's a little bit of an increase in, involved there. Uh, we're also, we're, we're trying to uh, make sure that we're not doing any cutbacks with the staff at this point because we did that on several occasions during COVID. Right, so if you have any more questions about this budget, you can ask Pastor Steve or ask Teresa because there's some important elements that really will help us move forward in mission. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's move to the second big stewardship, ev stewardship event, and that was the feasibility study. And that started the day after the annual meeting. So That's the right. annual meeting was on Tuesday. The feasibility study <laughs> and interviews and cottage meetings started on Wednesday, yeah. right? We're kind of hooking the wagons together here. That's right. Uh, the, the annual meeting, the uh, transition with our feasibility. I've got this too, by the way. This is our 2022 feasibility study prospectus. It's like a case statement. And this is just amazing to read through <laughs> and find out all the things that we have planned for the future of this community. And so it's something you can get and dig into. Now these are available in the office. We've been passing them out in some of the conversations we're already having with people. By the way, we're Anybody who wants to uh, fill out some of this prospectus and react to it and some of the ideas, they can do it. They'll be able to do it online. And we're also contacting individuals who want to do it on Zoom or even in person. So the feasibility studies is like a thought piece to right. engender conversation. And then our consultants will be listening to our discussions. And I want to invite you to the Sunday Forum this Sunday on February the 6th. Again, Pastor Steve, you'll be leading that mm -hmm. conversation. And so as you read this prospectus, as you have ideas that you want to share or questions about it, that's a perfect time to show up and discuss those then with Pastor Steve. And sometimes we find new ideas, perhaps, that come from just the conversation of people to gather around it. Like the kitchen. Like the kitchen. Like That's the kitchen. Right. <laughs> That's right. So now we want to hear from our consultant, uh, uh, Michael Ward. We interviewed him last week so that he can talk about some of the work that he's doing here at Emmanuel at this time. Let's listen to Michael. 
Mike, it's great to have you here at Emmanuel helping us out with the feasibility study and representing GSB. So just tell us now, what is the purpose of the feasibility study? So the, the purpose of the feasibility study is to determine if the project that we've put together is the project that the congregation is ready to have moved forward as it is. It oftentimes will change in the, in the period of time from creation through the study, because what we're doing is listening to people. We're listening to what God is calling to be next. Uh, we're listening to find out what will be funded, where the passion is, and what the project ultimately should look like uh, for the congregation should it move forward. So it's listening, but it's a structured listening, right? You've got the materials in front of people that they can interact with, right? Right, so rather than starting with a blank sheet of paper, we've kind of filled in some details on that piece of paper to figure out if that's the right starting point. And it gives people a jumping off point to figure out more of this, less of this, or perhaps it, even it's, it's ready to go as it is. Now you're listening through individual conversations, through cottage meetings and surveys, right? So you're using various venues, so to speak, to do that listening. Absolutely, if you just use a flat survey, you, you probably hear what you think you're gonna hear. It's when we sit down with people one-on-one -on -one that we can go deeper and get the nuance and the feeling behind uh, the data so that when we are looking at a survey response, we've, we've got real context from the real people who live here and not just our own assumptions being brought to it. So, what can we expect? I mean, you're here on campus <laughs> right. this week, you're meeting with our people, you're doing Zoom conversations. Mm -hmm. uh, what can we expect to, when, when can we start seeing results? What, what's your that's, own expectation? That's a great, that's a great question. Um, we expect within the next four weeks, our, our report will be complete. There are people that we've missed this week because of travel schedules. You're busy retired people down here in many cases. Um, so we'll, we'll continue to follow up with people to make sure we've gotten the scope of the congregation that we need to hear from. But within four weeks, we'll be able to look at all the data that we've collected, reflect on what we've heard, and be able to bring recommendations back. So, so within the next month, leadership will begin to hear and, and we'll be moving from Well, there. that's exciting because as leadership hears, then they'll pass on mm -hmm. that information to the congregation. Again, Mike, thanks for the service sure. you're doing here, uh, among us here at Emmanuel. And now let's go back to the Media Center and Pastor Steve. So it was good hearing uh, Michael talk about his work here the initial interviews that he's had, the cottage meetings, and I know he's excited about what he is hearing. Mm -hmm. so, so now let's move to the third big stewardship event uh, that happened last Sunday, right? Where we initiated the annual stewardship drive, which is targeted to raise money for the annual budget. Uh, how did that go? How did the kickoff go? Well, I think it went really well. We hit, we're getting a chance in the next three weeks to again tell the story of this congregation's ministry. And uh, that's just critical for people. You know, this is a place where people are coming and going all the time. Right. So we have to reiterate it. You know, this is what's happening, this is what's happening, this is what's happening. And as people hear about it and find themselves, uh, as you said a few weeks ago, with the spiritual gifts that they've been granted, there's a way for everybody to participate. We, we kind of wrap that together talking about time, talent, and our treasures. And uh, in this congregation, as we've been doing that, uh, they are going to be receiving. I've already received it. I okay. guess they make sure I get it first, right? Have you filled it out yet? I haven't filled it okay. out yet, and I'm going to fill it out <laughs> okay. in, in, uh, as I look through Just it. Just checking. Just, Just checking. checking. But uh, you'll find out that you can find in this, here it is right here, the Faces of Emmanuel, the brochure that you'll receive, and it tells you more about the uh, efforts of our congregation here inside and then gives you more information. You can mail it in, you can call it in, you can attend in person, which will be Commitment Sunday, and that's the 20th of February, or uh, you can drop it off at the church office if you'd like. So we're gonna have several Sundays dedicated just to lifting up these stewardship themes, but then the Pledge Sunday is again February? February 20th. Great, and that's- Now, now can I add something I forgot to add to? Okay. Uh, when I stand alongside my colleague here, we are delighted that this gentleman, uh, Dr. Pastor Rick Blees, at the annual meeting was called as an associate pastor of this congregation. So I can look at you and I can say we can partner together and continue to do that. And uh, you're going to be preaching this next Sunday, and that will be the 6th of February. I'll come back and talk on the 13th, and then we have 
uh, again, the commitment Sunday on the 20th of February. So last week we found out that Emmanuel is actually Antioch. <laughs> we saw the maps. We uh, know listen, where we're located. He even listens to my sermon I sometimes. Do, I That's do, good. I do. <laughs> and uh, this week we'll find out that Jesus uh, has gotten into our boat and he's given us some... Um, instructions on how to cast our nets. I'll be listening to you. Again, all stewardship themes. Uh, we look forward to <laughs> lifting up these themes because we've had so many big stewardship events. We want to make sure that everybody's clear on That's which right. event is trying to accomplish which goals. Any final thoughts that you have about these big stewardship events? Well, it's fun working with the, the committed staff here at Emmanuel because we all have our part that we play in trying to make sure that things are moving forward. But more than anything, I think it's, it's just fun to watch the, the reaction of people in the congregation because we have been doing this for a number of years, I mean, over a decade and even more in terms of kind of building some of the moment, momentum. And so we're making a lot of decisions and we're just very grateful for the reception of the people of Emmanuel uh, looking forward to what are some new possibilities. Yeah, last year we had 196 households mm -hmm. uh, that pledged, so we're trying to get that up to 225. Mm -hmm. And we know a lot of people in the congregation give regularly but don't necessarily pledge. Yeah. Yeah. But we just want to encourage that discipline of pledging because it gives us confidence as we're putting together our Everybody budgets. makes a difference. Everybody makes a difference here. Really do. And so, again, we uh, encourage you to pray for Emmanuel, mm -hmm. for the budget we've set, but more importantly, for the mission activities that are behind all those uh, dollars. And it's not just about dollars. The stewardship is about your time and talent, uh, what you then offer to the Lord. And so, mm -hmm. uh, together, the Lord is leading us into the future. Uh, again, thanks for joining us. Join Pastor Steve this Sunday, February 6th as he goes more deeply into these stewardship topics. And I extend my gratitude to all of you. Thank you. Thanks for joining us on the Sunday Forum. Bye-bye now. Glory.